Tinubu urges National Assembly to stop disturbing my ministers, CBN, Governor, and other appointees. During the Ramadan fast breaking event in Abuja on Wednesday, March 20th, Tinubu emphasized the necessity of oversight in maintaining transparency and accountability in governance. However, he cautioned against excessive summoning of officials, stressing that it could impede their operations. Tunibu urged lawmakers to exercise discretion and carry out their oversight responsibilities, appealing for accommodation and understanding towards his appointees. I have observed various committees, some of the ministers and agency leads, heads. I have appealed to the speaker to give the appointees some breathing space, let them focus on their duties, Tunibu said. Tunibu stated. While acknowledging the importance of legislative oversight, Tinubu underscored the need to consider the primary responsibilities of each agency and official. He urged lawmakers to find the balance between the oversight duties and the smooth functioning of government agencies. Tinubu expressed confidence in the National Assembly's ability to uphold good governance and lauded the collaborative efforts between the executive and legislative branches. He commanded the swift approval of several bills aimed at improving the welfare of Nigerians. Furthermore, Tunibu extended condolences to the family, families of soldiers slain in a recent attack in the Delta State. He assured them of dignified burials and national recognition for the fallen heroes. In the response, Speaker of the House of Representatives Tajuddin Abbas emphasized the importance of forgiveness, generosity, and prayers during Ramadan. He called for national unity and support for President Tunumba administration, highlighting the fruitful collaboration between the executive and the legislative arms for the country's progress. As the administration progresses, both Tunumba and Abbas reiterated their commitment to working together for the betterment of Nigeria. I mean, truly, truly, people who are actually Truly, people who are actually, uh, what's it called, appointees and ministers to the president, they are all Tunubu. They are all Tunubu. Now, Tunubu, Nindio, as in, they are all under Tunubu. They are all under the president. Both people where they summon them. People who are summoning them and people who they are summoning. <laughs> the summoning and the summoner. <laughs> Both of them, they are all under Tunubu. So, I've said it before that. Ministers and appointment appointees rather they should excuse me they should be they should be held holding to the president responsible anybody for anyone that does not do well any of them that does not do well they should be held responsible and I'm also of the opinion that look this so called uh, what's it called disappointees and ministers any of them will be said they don't do well they don't need to wait for four years you know. From the beginning of a thing, you would know how the thing is going to end. Do you understand? If something starts out well, you would be able to know. They say Peking will be say good day, very brilliant. Or will be say will come out um, in flying colors. You go do it. You go see him in the early days of that particular child. Do you understand? Now, so it's supposed to be. You don't need to wait until, uh, let's say, um, what's it called? Till three years or four years or... When their tenure expire, before you know that these people are going to actually do well. So you say the same making give them, make them give them space, make them breathe. I'm of the opinion now, as soon as they complete one year office, you supposed to call them. You understand? You supposed to call them to order. Call them. The ones who be saying oh, they do well, they do waiting. If not, the ones who be saying if not waiting will be arranged. If not waiting, making a couple leave them. My own be saying make the whole to be himself responsible for ministers and appoint. I uh, was called. And appointees them. The president has to say such things to the National Assembly because one children are if you know, you know. Oh, okay. Oh. The rubber stamp assembly or the actual assembly. Like I said, now peace now still people will be say the now still people will be on that number. Both people will be saying in your points and ministers, and then they do all this one. Well, this is also a site issue to hold it to achieve possible betterment to them. Exactly. Exactly. My own business makes him himself hold them, you know, as like I said, a single complete very soon it will complete one year in office. You understand? Make him also see as people they look up to him, make him perform well. Now so him supposedly look 
you know, to your ministers or your appointees them. So they go feed with him. They go feed deliver very well. Wow. So when a driver pilot or teacher is going the wrong way, one should raise an alarm or caution against impending danger. Honestly, all this hand pick agents and personal seem to me as tools for manipulation and other scheming of hidden agenda. Talk. When they don't talk, they say we cannot leave them uncle. Maybe we should let them be. My own is hold to be himself responsible and accountable. I've said it before now, appointees, and severally, I've said it like 1,001 times. Appointees and ministers should be, as in the presidency, should be accountable for them. In the sense that if they don't perform well, I see to remove this with good face. No man, no man, I see this to remove the presidency and then people's the face. When it's time to say, they are, they, whether they are there, whether they are people with their appointed to not do well. And that's what it's supposed to be. Kindly let's specialize in having more goal and lofter height. Highlight. Let us fast track our success. My dear. Me, oh, be left to me. Hmm? Left to me. What I would do or what I would say is that, um, you know, as they, they look to Nubu, make to Nubu they look those people. After all, and through through now, only to do that we go feed drag. You understand? But Nigerians will not go Grisha. Nigerians will not go Grisha. All this one we seen come outside the talk say, eh, what's the God? Say, to know that's called, they need to consider the primary responsibilities of each agency and official. He urged lawmakers to find the balance between the oversight duty and the smooth functioning of government agencies. So, to know they talk about. Uh, what's it called? Blessing a uh, National Assembly people in the full talk. <laughs> uh, those people too, then make we no say make them also no say we get and we get our eyes on them too. Hmm. The Senate express confidence in the National Assembly ability to uphold good governance and lauded the collaborative hmm. efforts between the executive and legislative branches. He commended the swift approval of several bills aimed at improving the wealth of men. Now then, Sabi. At the end of the day, we don't share talk our own. Whether people when they talk about rather than the National Assembly, whether people when they talk about nine appointees, uh, what's it called, nine ministers, or, or my own BC, we will go also hold Tunubu accountable. Just like somebody said here, it is normal for us if we see say something that they go well, we come as I can talk. But oh, but we no go no baby thing we go complain about. Imagine if you're the driver or firm. A particular boss and anything where you do one particular passenger they complain you go reach time you say if you even pack tell the passenger so yeah making content say you know do it in you know go again but also you know as nigerians or as people who we are on the receiving end of whatever the outcome of their service would be like you know you're supposed to raise alarm so that person do check this thing like this check this person like this so that at the end of the day we will get better Nigeria. All right, on those notes, you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen. And so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.